Also on Capitol Hill today, a heated hearing over the rise of anti-Semitism on the campus of Columbia University in Manhattan. The Ivy League school has been at the center of some of the most intense campus demonstrations since the war in Gaza began. CBS' Nicole Killian reports the school's president admitted that more can be done to protect Jewish students. The fiery debate over anti-Semitism at Columbia University made its way to Capitol Hill today. Anti-Semitism has no place on our campus. As Republicans accused the Ivy League institution of gross negligence for its handling of anti-Semitic incidents, including assaults and vandalism. Trying to reconcile the free speech rights of those who wanted to protest and the rights of Jewish students to be in an environment free of discrimination and harassment has been the central challenge. Egyptian-born university president Manoush Shafiq was the fourth college chief called before the panel. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Colombia's code of conduct? Yes, it does. Facing the same questions that led to the resignations of the presidents of Harvard and University of Pennsylvania. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's rules or code of conduct? Yes or no? It is a context dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context dependent decision. That's your testimony today. No New action. York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik chastised Shafiq over the university's response to several professors who used anti Israel rhetoric, including Professor Joseph Massad, who described the October 7th Hamas attack as awesome, astonishing, and incredible. I know I you confirmed confirm that he was under, under investigation. Yes, I can confirm that. Will you make the commitment to remove him as chair? <sighs> Um, I think that would be, I think I, I would, yes. Students attending the hearing stopped short of calling on the school's president to resign. I want the president of Columbia to take the action that she says she's going to take. President Shafiq told lawmakers that she condemns Professor Massad's writings despite his explicit language. Massad claims in a statement to CBS News that lawmakers misrepresented his article and that he has not been contacted about an investigation. Nora? That article still online. Nicole Killian, thank you very much.